What's up everybody and welcome back to today's progress yesterday's plan. We're on episode six. We made it. We're on a continuous um, roll. We're on a roll, right? We're doing it every Friday and I'm thanking you for being here with me today, whether you're watching on YouTube or you're listening on your favorite podcast platform, whether it's Spotify or Amazon Music and we are on Pandora now. So that's a cool start for 2021. And yes, we are in our first week of 2021. How is it treating you? How are things? I mean, I'm checking out the news. I'm checking out the feeds and I'm just seeing a ton of uh, craziness going on. But I look back at my feed, which is my to-do list. I like calling it my to-done list now and things are getting checked off. So I hope you're having a great start to 2021, checking things off and balancing your to-do list. Remember, we got to balance our to-do list. As we check things off, we got to add things. As we have ideas, we have to set them in motion and start doing stuff. So I think I had a rough start in the beginning of 2021, but as I keep going and making sure I'm checking things off and sticking to my plan, sticking to what I said I wanted to complete, it's a good sign. Um, I want to get a couple of things off my chest, right? I mean, we are in 2021. We're not fully out of the woodwork with uh, what 2020 had left us. Um, I hope you all are out there taking care of yourselves. I have friends, I have family and acquaintances that are just getting sick left and right. And this thing's real. So I hope you're taking care of yourselves and taking it serious and not taking it lightly. Personally, I just uh, canceled a trip. I was going to head back to California in a couple weeks and the way things are right now and the way things are going I don't want to put myself at risk but more importantly I don't want to put others at risk and for that reason I'm uh, canceling that trip so I'll be staying here in Mexico City for a while longer before things clear up and I could go back home and visit my friends and family and hopefully see people when I do Otherwise, what's the point of um, heading back? So to those of you uh, dealing with things, um, I love you and I hope uh, you all are just doing well and taking care of yourselves. On a lighter note, um, I'm happy to have started my new uh, calendar book that I have here in front of me. If you're watching, um, this is my new 2021 book. If you're listening, I'm holding my, my calendar here. And... Uh, it's been great. Uh, it's one thing that has kept me uh, doing these podcasts. I look at my calendar. I make sure to, to put it in here, TPYP, episode 006, and that's where we are here today. I'm also excited that we're progressing because on next week's show, I will have my first guest. I'm excited to announce that we'll be having Davey Sutton on here. We'll be having a chat talking about things that we've been working on. She is a travel expert and lifestyle expert, and she does a lot of TV interviews and has been on um, news shows like Dr. Oz and has been giving her expert advice for a long time. So I'm excited to have her on and talk about what she has going on in this new year coming up and how things may have changed for her as it has for many of us. And um, another thing... um, my YouTube channel, if you're watching, um, you're on the YouTube channel, if you're listening, make sure to find the YouTube channel Shark Cario, where I have all kinds of stuff on there from tech, travel and lifestyle reviews. And um, I've been really, this year, I've set myself out to dedicate myself more to this channel now and more seriously making a content schedule. And we're well into it. I'm, I uh, set out a goal to meet and it's three videos per week every monday wednesday and friday there's going to be a new video going up on the channel and i started at the end of the year and around in december so we're pretty good into it so far i've been able to keep up and uh, mondays we're doing tech tech videos so i'll be doing reviews unboxings announcements Um, CES is coming up next week. It's going all digital, so I'm going to be covering the CES show remotely. I'll be uploading that to the channel. 
and uh, different product reviews and answering questions that I've gotten in the past and continue to get. Those will be on Mondays. And uh, on Wednesdays, I started doing walking tours around the city. And um, I got a few of those in and a few of those scheduled. So if you're interested to see what Mexico City is like right now during the pandemic, um, check it out. On Wednesdays, I drop new videos and um, I have some commentary in there. Um, the last one I did was actually, um, well, one of the last ones, two weeks back, if you check it out, it was on New Year's Eve and I was in Polanco and uh, you guys could check out what that's like. I mean, businesses are closed. Um, streets were almost empty, pretty much. One being New Year's Eve, two Again, we are in red. I don't know what to call it, category red or code red here in Mexico City. So everything's like on lockdown. Restaurants are all closed. Museums are all closed. Anything um, of activity with people is closed. So if you're considering coming out to Mexico City, I would rethink it until things open up again and we know we're more in the clear. Again, not putting yourself at risk putting others at risk, and that way the whole economy and society everywhere globally, I'll say, can open back up. Um, so yeah, those are my Wednesdays. I have those walking tours. Fridays, you're with me here today. You're with me now listening and watching. Um, Fridays, I'm dedicating to the podcast, and we're going to stick it through every Friday, having a new podcast, um, a new topic. I hope I start getting more interaction with people and see um, how this could develop. And, um, but most importantly, an accountability to myself and a, an accountability for those of you listening um, to also for, to put for yourselves or to hold me accountable for things I say as well, tasks I want to complete, um, and dealing with obstacles that might um, hinder us from achieving the things we want to achieve. Um, I've been mentioning that um, I have a product that I'll be um, launching, hopefully in spring. This pandemic has really paid a toll on, on us, my friend, my partner, and I. And um, right now, because we're in red here in Mexico, it's kind of bordering as well. So I was supposed to have our sample this week, uh, last week, actually, and we didn't have it. Um, I was supposed to have it before Christmas, didn't have it because factories are closed, they're having a hard time sourcing materials. And um, again, I was now going on my trip to California. Um, I was told I'm going to have the product before then, which was going to be the 20th. And um, I'm not going on that trip now, but I'm still hoping that we're able to get the samples. We're, we're going to mail them. And as soon as we have those samples, and I, as soon as we test them out, I'll be excited to show you guys watching and those of you listening to describe this product that we are going to launch. We'll have our sample product and I think that'll be a good time to let you guys know what I'm working on and I'm excited for that this year. Um, uh, what else can we, um, can I mention? There's a little dead space here. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Uh, what do you guys do when you're thinking? What are you working on? I would appreciate comments in the section below. It's a great time for you to um, maybe work on some accountability as well. Leave some comments below of what you're working on, some goals you have set for yourself in, um, in 2021, and what your plans are, like what your plan to achieve that goal is. And uh, I'll shout you out in the next episodes, and uh, we'll talk about those plans you have going and, and planning is important. So I say, what are your goals and your plans? Because they say a goal without a plan is just a dream, right? And dreams, we don't always accomplish them, right? So if you have a, a goal, make sure that you have a plan with that. And that's one of the uh, main concepts behind this podcast is today's progress, yesterday's plan. So if we want to progress... We have to, one, plan for it. We have to measure results, right? So if we don't track our results, how can we measure our success? And that's, uh, 
I mean, I try to apply that in more things in my life now lately. Uh, because of quarantine, I feel like I've had a chance to be more productive. One way to stay sane in this quarantine has been to do more, to, to dedicate more to planning and trying to accomplish some things like, like this podcast and like the videos I've been producing. Being stuck at home, there's not much else to do. Um, so you have to find those things to do. I've been working out more. I've been writing down all my, uh, my progress, right? I'm tracking my progress in my workouts, which has been very slow in the last couple months since I've had a shoulder injury, a, a tendonitis um, in my shoulder. And so jumping on the computer, doing research, finding the adequate exercises that's going to help me um, not only recover from it, but also get stronger so in the future I shouldn't have an injury like that again. Um, and uh, taking supplements and different vitamins and really learning about my body and the, you know, testing what we're capable of. I've been practicing uh, calisthenic workouts, body weight exercises, which has been great um, being able to work out from home because I don't know about you out there that work out and uh, we're like, well, you know, gym rats will say, um, with the gyms being closed, has that um, caused you to, I don't know, gain weight or stop working out? Or did you find different uh, workout routines or new things to do um, at home? I, uh, I invested in some rings, some gymnastic rings that I use with a pull-up bar. And I went to Home Depot, got some PVC pipe, and made some parallettes that I use, some bars for exercises as well. And so I'm actually pretty happy with the results I've gotten and with the results I've been measuring. So I'm hoping that um, these next couple months I'm able to recover um, on my shoulder and get into more intense workouts. I learned that uh, tendon injuries are pretty serious in that they take longer to recover versus like a muscle injury. Um, you know, our tendons and our ligaments connect our muscles to our bones and they're not really strong as because we don't really work them out too much. I don't know. I don't know about you, but I learned that it's tough. So if you've had a tendon injury, you know, I mean, it could take months, six months, up to a year to fully recover. And, uh, I could feel it as I'm progressing in my workouts. I could feel it getting better, but I could feel the point where I could easily just get hurt again. So I'm very careful with that. And um, I've been doing different uh, things for my diet is another thing that I've changed to help me um, better there. Um, I've been on a low-carb diet before I was injured, and I'm consistently... Um, trying to stay on top of that. The holidays was like a, a little just relax kind of time. I kind of didn't stick 100% to it, but I tried. And um, I stopped the bulletproof coffee. I was having bulletproof coffee every day. And um, in the month of December, I did decide to stop. The reason I decided to stop was because I wanted to see um, the changes of, you know, going back and forth to see if I really noticed um, some changes or results from using it, or if it was just like a placebo type of effect. So then I stopped, and I noticed, and I confirmed that it was helpful for me. And, and so I'm going to start that back up again. I'm going to add an ingredient to my Bulletproof coffee, which is turmeric. And um, yeah, I'll be starting that again. And I started, uh, what's another thing I added? I'm drinking um, bone broth every day, which... I also read that was great for gut health, great for collagen, great for our tendons and bones as well. And it's really good. I actually um, took a recipe from a pho recipe, which the main ingredient in pho is tailbone and um, or different bones. But um, so I'm not just like cooking bone marrow or bones and drinking it like that. I'm adding some things to it as well, like ginger and um anise, an onion, and man, it's tasty. I'm not going to lie. I actually enjoy drinking that every day. So, um, And vitamins, just making sure I'm taking my daily vitamins, 
glucosamine and like my protein and things like that. So one of it is to like stay healthy. I want to get stronger and things like that. And, but another thing is with the current state, you know, we're in the winter, the pandemic's going on. It's the time that people start to get sick. So we really want to keep our immune system up. And if you have any tips or any ideas of keeping our immunity up, definitely leave them in the comments below. I would love to um, get some other tips to take care of myself um, and give tips to those out there as well, taking care of themselves. So that's another thing I've been progressing on. Um, back to the video schedule. I mean, I don't know if you have or intend to create videos this year or uh, create a YouTube channel. I mean, right now is like a great time to start a YouTube channel and get yourself out there or start creating content and get it out there because everyone's at home. Everyone has the time to sit on a computer and find something to watch. And there's a tons of things to watch, but it's also a great time to create content for others to watch. So um, get out there and, and do it. My next video is going to be a video about um, having certain things or what gear to get for 2021 and start creating videos. You don't need the most expensive gear. You don't need a lot, but I have three main um, pieces of gear that I'm gonna share with you to get started. So um, that'll be coming out on Monday. I'm still producing that one, but uh, that's the cool thing about this content schedule and hopefully it inspires you as well to create some content. So I've been batching my videos lately, my production and my um, scheduling of publish, publishing the videos. And what I mean by batching is that I'm trying to produce m more videos, multiple videos before the schedule date. So for example, I have a video that's scheduled for this Monday and it's a review on a product on this microphone actually. So if you're interested in that, um, stay tuned. But, um, this other video I'm working on for the three pieces of equipment that will help you get started creating video, I think is a more timely subject. I think it'll have um, better traction right now starting the new year. So I'm going to try to finish it quicker. I'll finish it this weekend and then I'll schedule it for Monday. And the video I had for Monday, I'll just push it back um, to the next Monday and um, create more videos and start scheduling them out. So it does two things. One, it keeps consistent content uploading to the channel. So I know that every Monday I'm going to be dropping videos, like I said, which is great to have consistent content. Another thing it does that I think is important, it frees up more time for better production. So that there's the argument of quality over content or content is keen um, or quantity over quality, things like that, right? So these videos that I'm batching, I'm trying to get a, a, a lot out quickly. I am dedicating time and thought to them to produce good quality videos, but I'm, I'm not spending days and weeks on them because I want to get them out scheduled. But since they're scheduled and now I don't have the pressure of, say, shoot, Monday's around the corner. I don't have a video. I need to get something done quickly. I have the leisure of saying I'm scheduled out for three weeks. I have time to work on a more um, on a higher quality video, invest more time, invest more time in editing and really focus on it. So that that helps as well to get that quality content out. And again, because they're batched and scheduled, you can move that schedule around. So if things are more timely, you could shuffle things back and squeeze them in. For example, CES is right around the corner. And I plan to cover CES and bring you guys some cool products from CES, hopefully some interviews and the latest news from the Consumer Electronics Show. The cool thing is that that's gonna be timely content, right? It won't be necessarily evergreen content, meaning that it could go all year for many years. It's gonna be specific to CES 2021. 
So I'm going to want to get that content out the week of CES while it's hot, while it's trending. So since I have videos scheduled, tech videos for Monday, I'll get to push them back and the content I create for CES fit it in on those Mondays. So that'll even push me back more for Mondays and having content scheduled. So one goal I have is to get um, up to six months of content scheduled. And so we'll see how long it takes me to get six months scheduled and uh, maybe a year, right? Imagine having a year of content scheduled. So apart from the videos that I'm doing now, which is like tech on Mondays, the walking tours on Wednesdays, and these podcasts on um, Fridays, I have other ideas for videos that I'd like to do. Um, either sprinkle them in or also create consistent um, videos. And maybe Thursdays I'll do something new or Tuesdays, right? So that's the great thing about um, batching and stuff. So if you have any questions, um, leave them in the comments below. I'd like to help you come, come up with a strategy for launching a YouTube channel. Or if you already have a YouTube channel, um, working on a strategy to better it um, together, right? Because that's, that's the journey I'm in now. Like I'm definitely not an expert um, to say that, oh, I've done this all and I'm doing it. But I'm definitely um, doing it and I'm trying to do more. And um, it's like we're always a step ahead or a step behind somebody. And I like to help. So I do a lot of research to those that are steps ahead of me or reading or, and researching and watching and, you know, self-betterment, right, investing in my learning. But I like to do that because I like to pass it down as well. So whatever I'm learning, I'm definitely going to be passing it down in these podcasts or videos. And if you have questions... I love doing research on topics of what people ask, so that, that'll be cool. Um, I'm excited for another video series that I want to come out with that uh, um, it's great talking about it here because, again, talking about accountability. Um, if I talk about it, I want to make sure I do it. And uh, it's, it's a series on mezcal. So I don't know if you're familiar with the distilled spirit mezcal. It's a cousin of... the of tequila, but since my time in Mexico here and the times I've visited Oaxaca and, and discovered mezcal and, and it's become more popular, um, I really, really like, like it. And I enjoy it and I enjoy sharing it with friends and family. And uh, so I want to start a little like a tasting series and just as I pick up new bottles, um, taste them, talk about them, share them with you, recommend some, maybe take some recommendations from you and uh, create a channel around it, answering questions, um, explaining the process behind it because it's a, a wonderful uh, process. It's definitely an artisanal process behind it. And there's an immense amount of varieties in mezcals, unlike, you know, a, a small difference like tequila is made from one agave. And uh, the process is different from mezcal. And agaves, the, the plant that's used for mezcal, there's over, I think, 270 species of agave. And all of the agaves can be used to make mezcal. And all kinds of different regions and states have their own um, recipes, their own process, and their own special mezcals. So, it's a wonderful world to get into, and I'm excited to um, start that series, and hopefully I start it in this next month. I'm, my goal is to do it before my birthday. My birthday is coming up February 8th, and so maybe that's a great day to uh, start the series. So what do you think? Do you have any questions? Do you have any favorites? Have you had mezcal, or have you had a bad experience? That's another thing I'm excited about as well, because I've I've shared it with some people who, one, they'll smell it, and the, the common phrase is, it smells like gasoline, right? Or, or they've had a, a bad taste with it. And one thing I'm excited to share is that it doesn't have to be that way. There is a mezcal for everyone, and there's a certain way to drink it. There's a, there's a process, and there's a way to drink it so you don't have those experiences. 
So if that interests you, definitely stay tuned um, on the channel. I'll be doing those in the next couple weeks. So I, I'm very excited to have announced that because now my gears are turning and I have to stick to it, make a cool series about it, um, and dedicate some production to it, right? Um, another cool thing, really quick, I think we're running out of time, which was great because I keep talking. I don't know what you guys thought of today, but um, I'm going to be fixing these lights behind me. I'm, I'm trying to really set this up and have a nice studio set up here, and I'm trying to invest in like equipment without investing too much equipment because for one, one day, I'm not sure when, hopefully soon, I'll be moving back to the States. I'm not sure yet, and I don't want to have so much equipment that I'm taking back and forth. I have a lot that I've left in the States, so I don't know also if to go get it and bring it or buy more. If I have so much equipment, will I take it all back with me? But um, on a side note, these lights back here are green because I can't change the color. I connected them and got them to work, but the RGB function is not working. So I just bought a soldering kit, and I think I'm going to solder everything and see how that works. So if you're listening, I'm describing this set behind me. I have lights set up and um, a LED strips on a shelf behind me, and I can't change the colors. So I did something wrong. But um, we'll wrap it up here. I just want to say stay tuned for next week. We're going to have our first guest, Davey Sutton. So stay tuned. That's going to be a fun conversation. And stay tuned for um, the new videos coming out on Sharkario, on YouTube, all kinds of stuff. So if you're interested in tech, lifestyle, um, wellness, and um, you know, food, all kinds of stuff, we're going to talk about them. We're going to produce stuff, and we're going to put it there. So if you'd like to collaborate, reach out to me. Leave your comment below. Keep your to-do list balanced. And I'll catch you next time. Peace. All right, we're done. I think I jacked up on this light here. It was causing like a shadow on my face. But it's cool. Check this one off. Right here. TPYP006. Check it off. And let's add the mezcal here. Mezcal videos. See how I just balanced that out there? Thank <laughs> you.